Marx often employed the term proletariat, an ancient Latin word originally used in ancient Rome to denote the poorest class who owned no property. In Marx's context, he used it interchangeably with working class, signifying those who depended on selling their labor power to survive. The term first appeared in Marx's introduction to the contribution to the critique of Hegel's philosophy of right in 1844, where he identified the proletariat as a class whose struggle for emancipation would lead to the liberation of all spheres of society and the dismantling of the old world order. Marx distinguished the proletariat from the naturally arising poor, emphasizing that this class was not inherently impoverished but rather artificially deprived by the growth of industrial capitalism. The term had gained traction in radical circles earlier, not- notably when Blanqui invoked it in his defense speech during his 1832 trial, referencing France's 30 million impoverished citizens. While Blanqui and his followers in France used the term broadly, encompassing all impoverished individuals, Marx restricted its use to industrial workers. This narrower application emerged earlier in Germany through Edward Gans, a significant lecturer at the University of Berlin. Gans, influenced by his visits to England and readings of Smith and Ricardo, forecasted the impending struggle between the middle class and the proletariat as early as 1836. Marx's preference for the term proletariat might have stemmed from its universality, suitable for application across different countries. This aligns with Marx's belief that the evolving class struggle was inherently international. Even within Europe languages, various terms denoted the working class during this period of its development. The term proletariat encapsulates Marx's understanding of the industrial working class as the revolutionary agent in capitalist society. Unlike earlier revolutionary classes such as the peasantry, Marx saw the proletariat as uniquely positioned to overthrow capitalism due to its central role in the capitalist mode of production. By selling their labor power, workers generated surplus value, the source of capitalist profit, yet they remained alienated from the products of their labor and subjected to expected to exploitation by the capitalist class. Marx's focus on the proletariat reflected his recognition of their potential collective power. As the industrial workforce grew and concentrated in urban centers, workers became increasingly aware of their shared exploitation and common interests. Marx believed that struggles against capitalist exploitation would ultimately lead to the overthrow of the capitalist system and the establishment of a classless society. The term proletariat also underscored Marx's historical materialist perspective. He viewed social change as driven by material conditions and as conflict rather than by abstract ideas or individual actions. The emergence of the proletariat as a distinct class was a product of historical developments, particularly the rise of industrial capitalism and the transformation of social relations.